Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, Sarah here today, and I am playing with the Darling Sparkle and Shine kit from Color Rush Studio. This is my first layout with this kit, and I am loving it. It is so soft and nice. I just love the color combos. The Simple Story Collection is amazing. Um, I am cutting down a, it's a four by six uh, cut apart piece of paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down. I was trying to decide if I wanted to use this You Belong um, Among the Wildflowers or that Smile and Shine. And I decided to use You Belong Among the Wildflowers. So here I am fussy cutting that out. It does take me a little bit, but I thought that it would make a great title for this layout. And I love this picture of my daughter. Um, I've scrapped some other ones that are kind of like this because we ended up doing like a whole little photo shoot with them and it wasn't meant to, but it it, it is what it is. Um, they use their own money and they bought these cute little face jewels and they have used them and wore them. And I mean, if they want to wear them out in public, I don't care. That's fine. It's not hurting anybody. So, and it made him happy. So I went ahead and um, took a bunch of pictures of them. I trimmed the little top part off. It says you belong among the. Um, and so I did that in a nice straight line so that um, I would have, you know, have it for the top of the layout. And then I went back to cutting in between the D and the L. And then I will also go over between the L and the I. I love that it leaves a little border of that blue around it as well. I thought that it added a nice color, especially for the way that I end up doing it, which you'll see here in just a second. Um, I'm almost done fussy cutting that out. I'm sorry. I thought I took more of that out than what I did. Um, so I do apologize for making you watch me fussy cut. Um, <laughs> but here I am almost done with it. Oh, I've got to cut around the word flower because it's in the cursive. Um, the only thing that I, is not from this kit is actually my background and another piece of cardstock I pull, which is textured. Um, it's got circles on it. But if you go to the Color Rush Studio website, you can still get the Darling Sparkle and Shine kit. And there's also a Darling Sparkle and Shine add-on. Plus, there's other kits that have a few still left in stock that um, are in the shop as well. Um, there'll be links below so that you can go ahead and head over to the shop and check things out. Um, here, uh, that actually on the right hand side is a branding strip. I just turned it over and used the side that had pattern on it still. Um, and I used the exact same thing to put behind my photo. And then I cut a four and a half by six and a half piece of that light blue with the little moths on it or butterflies. I think they're moths. Um, and then I started pulling things from the ephemera packs that came in the kit thinking I wanted to stick some stuff above the photo. Um, and I decided not to use the things that I thought I was going to use. Um, but I do use this doily. I do not use this gold piece on this layout. Um, I love the gold sparkly pieces though. They're just so pretty. Now this is the cardstock that is from my kit. It was not, or not from my kit, from my stash. And it wasn't a full 12 by 12 sheet, but I liked it. I liked the texture of it because it's not regular cardstock. I honestly cannot remember where I got this from. I have a few pieces of it. Uh, well, cardstock kind of like this in my stash. Um, but I thought it went well because it kind of ma matched the flowers in the collection that I'm using here. And so I thought that that'd be perfect. Um, I wanted the blues and stuff to be around my photo more so than anything and then I wanted to be able to add some flowers to it. I thought about using a yellow background instead of white. I decided against it. I'm glad I decided against it too because I like the way this turns out. Um, I went ahead and trimmed that down so I thought it was just too close to the other side but I also trimmed down the other side here in a minute or grabbed my other piece right there. Yeah I already had it cut so I went ahead and just grabbed it and I layered that uh, branding strip underneath. And I'm going to sit this up here because I know I want it up top. That also saved me from tucking a bunch of things back there. But I do use this doily. And I love these cute little doilies. They're so sweet. I don't know. I have a thing for doilies. I actually found a bunch in my stash recently. So um, I'm sitting here going through the ephemera pack. There was actually two that came in the kit. And I've got them both out there on uh, my little tray. 
so that I could just go through them. So I'm tossing things down in front of me that I think I might use and then tossing the rest off to the side. Um, but instead of adding things up top, I'm gonna go ahead and tack, uh, tuck things underneath. Um, and so I am gonna use that tag. I wanted to pull some yellow over to the right-hand side, so I went ahead and used that little tab piece. This says, uh, love this, and it's got a little more of that uh, blue background with some florals on it. Um, and then that says, bloom and grow. And then there's a floral. I don't use that one. I use the yellow one right there. Um, and here, oh, I love this. Um, I love this. I was guest designing at one point, and uh, these frazzles and ribbons are probably one of my favorite things. Um, I love, I still have some from some of the other kits, and it's cool, though, because they actually will go with... Um, you know, some of those stuff I have from past ones will actually go with this one, but I want to stick to this kit for right now. So, um, I did not use the little pink one that I showed, but this lacy ribbon that came in the kit is just so nice and delicate. It's so crazy because I used to use stuff like this all the time and for some reason I stopped using it. I have no idea why. I love the texture that it gives to a layout. So I'm using it. Um, and I also found more in my stash, which I was happy about. Um, but I went ahead and adhered this down and then I added that lace on the right hand side and I'm adding tape to the back of my pieces that I'm using, um, to layer on top of that. So I will go ahead and start stick. Oh, I'm going to rough up the edges like I always do on pretty much everything. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to pull the backing off and I'm going to try to make sure I get them where I want them. Um, I'm going to layer them a little different than what I had them previously, and that's just because I forgot, and that's okay because I still like the way it turned out. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and layer those down, and then I'm going to start roughing up the edges of these other pieces. I'm going to pull out some, um, what is that, fun foam. Um, I really need to get some of the other stuff, but I have so much of this fun foam in my stash, and it works just as well. So I went ahead and grabbed that out and put it on the back of that bloom and grow piece. Um, and here I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my picture down and start sticking things together since I had already started putting stuff down on the layout. I mean, it's that time. So I'm gonna go ahead and rough the edges up around this. Um, I had to hit next on my next episode of what I was watching. Um, and here I'm gonna go ahead and rough up the edges of the bits and pieces that I'm sticking underneath the photo. I knew exactly where I wanted that, so I roughed up the edges and just stuck it to it. Um, and I'm doing the same thing with this, except for I knew that I was gonna have to use glue on that one because it, you know, I wasn't gonna stick as much um, underneath the photo. I went ahead and added some uh, glue to the back of that Bloom and Grow piece and uh, adhered it down on top of my photo and here I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add the pink texture card stock to the background sorry um, I'm yep so I'm gonna add that and then I'll go ahead and actually start sticking the pieces that I had already used uh, that I already stuck together back on the layout I know that ribbon is that lace is so pretty so I'm adding a little bit of glue to it and I stick it down too high up but thankfully, it's going to be behind the photo, so it doesn't matter. So I just drug it down the page, and it was fine. So I went ahead and did that, and then I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of my photo there that, and the whole cluster, and I'll stick it down on the layout. Um, yeah. I'm going to mess up the flower a little bit, just rough up the edges, and uh, add a little bit of that fun foam behind it. Just so that it doesn't lay flat on the layout and it just kind of sticks up, has a little dimension. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that up top. And now to move on to my title. I am going to cut Fun Foam really thin. And I'm going to stick it along all of this. And I think I left a little too much of this in too. Um, and I'm sorry, y'all. I really am. But... Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the fun foam behind all of this so that it, the title itself sticks up over the top of um, my photo. That way it pops a little more. And cutting it on my, uh, my little choppy cutter there, it made it go a lot faster. And it was all the same width. And there I go again, cutting a little more. But that way I could cut it a little bit thinner and a little straighter instead of just cutting it with my scissors. 
especially when it came to the flower portion, it was better to have it a bit thinner um, because it is in cursive and it's more, it, it's too fine for me just to go ahead and stick a bunch of stuff behind. So I went ahead and did that and, you know, I'm, oh, I'm sticking at the very top so it doesn't pop, fall down as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stick adhesive behind that, glue it down and stick it to my layout, right? The flower part is going to be right on top of my photo. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind the UB Long uh, Among The after I rough up the edges. I'm only going to rough up the top and the sides because the bottom you won't see. It's tucked underneath uh, the wild. I added a little more adhesive to my flower um, and set something a little heavier on top of it because I realized I had not. Um, and I'm going to add that flower. I'm going to rough it up and add it over to the right-hand side. And I'm going to add this little banner. It says one, I mean, it's just one through 10 is all it is. I just wanted to add it down there. I thought it looked good. So, I mean, really, that was it. That's why I added it. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rough this up a little bit, add a little bit of adhesive, and go ahead and tuck it under. And that finishes that part out. Um, but what I decided to do, I was looking around, seeing if I had something else I wanted to do. But I went ahead and grabbed one of my um, fine tip, my... Mica, micro liners um and I went ahead and just added a double layer of lines around the entire outside of this and that was it that finished this layout and I really had fun with it I'm so sorry for leaving portions of that in that should have been taken out um but I really hope that you enjoyed this layout make sure to check out the links below for color rush studio and thank you for watching if you enjoyed please remember to like and subscribe thanks so much bye